Okay. Well, good morning once again, everybody. My name is Stephen Blunt, and I am the LG Product Marketing Manager for our commercial display solution side of the business here at, at LG. And I am so happy to be here with you all on this great Tuesday morning after a Cubs win yesterday, feeling pretty good. We're based here in the Chicago area, and so I'm um, born and raised in Chicago, Chicago win, if you will, and uh, I am very happy to be joined with also another native here in Chicago, our LG Inside Sales Eye of IT Monitor, Doug Jacob. Uh, Doug and I will be taking you through uh, our SuperSign Simple Editor, which is a, a new enhancement to our SuperSign software, and Doug will actually be walking you through our Launched a little bit ago, not too long, but our new 31 inch uh, 4K digital cinema monitor. And so we both will be tackling this as we go through the presentation today. Um, as always, if you've joined any of our LG Solution Spotlight trainings in the past, we always would like to make these as interactive as possible. So please feel free to always raise your hand uh, virtually. Or if you have a, a question, you can always um, use the chat box as well. So we definitely want to make this interactive, as I mentioned. And, uh, and that's what we have to say about that. Those are the housekeeping uh, tips that I'll give for today. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So here's our agenda for today. Uh, first, we'll be talking about YLG, diving right into the SuperSign Simple Editor. And then we'll be going into that 31-inch that I spoke to you about, and then we'll wrap it all up. And hopefully if things go right, we'll get you out of here in 30 minutes. So that is the goal for today. All right. So as we're talking about our SuperSign Simple Editor product, uh, it certainly fits into um, different verticals. Um, and we have our 31-inch, which fits into another vertical. Here at LG, we make sure that we are always producing different solutions for, that goes across all of these verticals. Today, with the SuperSign Simple Editor, this mainly you will see this used in the retail vertical, uh, QSR, and also plus any government at times. Um, and then you might also find it in the education space as well. Um, of course, you know, with us being all LG employees and uh, I have to say brainwash with LG, but really uh, just standing by our product, you know, we really feel that it can work for any segment <laughs> as well. But uh, mainly retail, QSR, and uh, corporate is what we'll say today for right now. All right. So first on up, this is our IPS technology. Now, hopefully, this is nothing new to any of you, um, but... I would be remiss if I did not mention our IPS technology. Our IPS technology is one of our number one differentiating technologies that we have between us and our competitors. Our IPS technology, you will find that in 99% of all of our large format displays. And so that goes from, you know, all the way up to our 98 inch, and we also have a 10 inch tablet as well now that's part of our digital signage. It, that's all IPS technology. As we look at our small format desktop monitors, as Doug will talk to you about when our 31-inch, I would say about 75% of those monitors have IPS technology. So I, I'm telling you all, what does it really mean to you? Well, one of the biggest advantages you would have with our IPS technology is the fact of the super wide viewing angle. That is one of the easiest things to remember about our IPS technology is the ability of having the super wide viewing angle. As we look and we all live in the digital science technology era, you know, and we're always on the move. And what our customers are trying to do and when digital signage is to deliver a, a message, right? So you want to deliver a message and capture your audience. And that's what these look the great thing is about our IPS technology is with it being super wide viewing angles, you have more time, the passerby has more time to receive that message because they're able to see it from a far distance. And as they're still walking by, 
they're now able to receive that digital content and that actual message that is coming off the actual panel. And then outside of that, you know, with the color accuracy, also great advantages and also black being free. And, and what that's all about is, you know, having the ability of being able to reflect the sunlight, taking on all of that sunlight and even the temperatures and still delivering out a great crisp picture. Now, of course, I can go on and on and tell you all the good things about our IPS technology, but the great thing is it's not just us saying it about our IPS technology. We actually have other leaders in the market, um, and I'm saying in, in marketing period, that are using our IPS technology. So it's not just LG. It is our product, but what is happening is that other leading companies have purchased it from us. So we've sold it to them so that they can use it in, in their product, and that is what's happening, and you will find it in these brand names. Um, but still, remember, it is, uh, it is our technology, and it's patented by us, so we are the owners and the OEM of this technology. All right. Without further ado, let's dive right on in to our super signed simple editor. So first, we'll talk to you about the whole concept of what exactly is super signed. And then we'll talk about, well, how do you use this super sign? Uh, you know, what are some of those practical uses of it? So, and that's what we'll talk about in the application use. And then how do you use it? We'll actually talk about, well, how you would actually use this product. And then we'll also talk about the software comparison. Because we've had different flavors of our super sign software. And so we'll kind of go through some of those comparisons. All right. So here's just all to the full concept. Uh, and, you know, starting back, one of the things with SuperSign, uh, you will find it in our SuperSign TV product. So that is our LX540S product, which we have that available from uh, 43 inches all the way up to 65 inches. And basically, this is having, it is a, an actual TV. And so you can have live streaming TV with also delivering a message at the same time. As you're kind of seeing the background there, so you see a soccer game going on, and as you have that soccer game, you also have some menu specials, which that is a, a very key practical use that you will find in, um, it's obviously that is a, a sports bar and grill restaurant there, but that is an easy plug-and-play um, use that you will find. The great thing about it, as we will dig into this more, but you're able to actually control up to 50 different monitors wirelessly or by even being, uh, you know, by via landline. So, um, and I mean land as an Ethernet cable, not like your, your phone anymore. But, uh, but yeah, you can do it that way. Or you can do it as a standalone, uh, a standalone actual use case. And that's what you see there with that USB flash drive that you can put content on the flash drive, plug it into the monitor, and there you have it. And so as we look more at this actual slide here, you see it says only three steps. And that's what it really goes to. So first you start with having your laptop computer. You have that laptop computer, you have downloaded our super signed simple editor software. Once that's downloaded to your actual laptop, now, this is where it comes into the only three simple steps. The first thing you'll start with is content creation. You'll, you'll create content. Now, this is something very simple, actually. So you have up to 43 different templates you can start with and go through the different verticals and different application uses. You go through that, choose what you want, make some adjustments similar to what you would do in creating the PowerPoint. Then you would make a playlist and then you would actually distribute it. That is the basic concept on how this is actually used. But now let's take a little bit look closer. All right, so as mentioned, content creation, create that content. You have over 43 different templates you can use. Make a playlist. Now when we say make a playlist, that is basically, you know, let's continue to think about like a PowerPoint. Uh, and that's always an you know, hopefully you don't mind me using the PowerPoint analogy, but, you know, that is just a simple way to think about it because in PowerPoint, 
you know, as you're doing, we've all, uh, by my assumption on the call, you know, we've created PowerPoint slides before, right? And you, you create it in a certain order. Well, that is the same concept here. You create a playlist. You create an actual slide deck, if you will. And with each one, you can actually set the time. You can have it going for one minute. You can have it going for two minutes. You can have it going for 10 seconds. It's all up to you. From there, then it goes to actually saving that content. You have the ability to save it to your hard drive, or you can save it to the USB flash drive that you can have plugged in. Now, going for, you know, using it in this USB distribution uh, setup, you would save it directly to that USB flash drive. From there, now you're able to take that content from the USB flash drive and go and plug it into your LS540S TV, all right? You can do it there. And the great thing is we're talking about super Sign TV today, but this also will work on any of our monitors as well. So and when I say monitors, so this is our nine TVs. And so we have different product lines. Uh, and just to rattle off a couple of them for you, and you can always find more information on lgsolutions.com. But like the SE3B and our SM5B, all of those monitors will be able to take the same use as well. So as mentioned, you know, do it that for standalone use. And now for the actual use of up to 50 different TVs, and you can do that wirelessly, or you can do that via Ethernet cable cord, you can, same simple way. Uh, you start with that content creation, make the playlist, and now it's distributing over the network. Now, the great thing is with our LX540S now, you can use a wireless dongle. So it's a Wi-Fi wireless dongle. Uh, and it's a USB, so you would plug that into the monitor, and now that is turning that, and I should say TV, you can, that's turning that LX540S SuperSign TV into uh, the, basically a smart TV for, you know, cases of layman terms that everyone understands. So now it's able to communicate back with the laptop, and you're able to distribute content of what you just made. So... And the great thing is you'll see here, it's highlighted, no additional server login. So if you're new to our SuperSign product, you might not understand what this is about. But in our other flavors of our SuperSign product, um, to distribute content over the network, there is a, a couple of additional steps that you have to do with actually logging into your server. But now we're, we're actually taking that away. There's the initial one with creating the content, but then when you're actually sending it to each one of the SuperSign TVs, that has now been removed. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and dive into how to use it. And before I do that, because I know that I, uh, I have gone over a lot of information thus far, before I dive any deeper, I'm going to go ahead and take a pause and see if you have any questions. You can go ahead and ask a question through via the chat box. Or you can raise your virtual hand, and uh, I can unmute you, and we'll let you ask that question. Ask uh, question. So please go ahead right now. If you have a question, please go ahead and ask. Okay. Well, that seems pretty quiet. Well, then we'll just keep on moving on. So please just keep your questions in mind, and we will get to them as you have them. Okay, let's keep on going. So how do you use it? Um, I've already kind of given you an example of how to use it, but this is what it actually looks like. So what we're looking at right now, this is that, an actual screenshot of the SuperSign Simple Editor landing page. So in the past, you know, you had to, and I just gave you an example of how to go through creating actual content for the super science software. Well, one of the things that we give you the ability, if you don't want to go through the left minute way of creating the content and then you create your playlist and then you actually decide that you want to distribute it, you know, via USB flash drive or if you want to distribute it over the network, if you want to do it that way, that's quite all right. We're actually giving you the ability to make that decision. So if you wanted to start 
was just creating the content first, you're able to do that. And, or I should say create and distribute the playlist, you're able to just go ahead and get that started right away. So, and that's why we have these different options here. All right. So now here, this is giving you an idea of all of the over 43 different templates that you have at your disposal. Now, if you take a look closer, you will see that one will say, hey, full screen image or video. So we actually have templates that are made up that will give you the ability to just drop right in a video, and you can have a whatever video you would like to just have that playing. Or maybe it's just a, a, an image that you would like. Well, you can have that. And this is all, you know, this is the content creation part. But anything that you create here, you are able to set a time for that particular template to be running and playing. If you take a look at some of the additional templates down there, you will see that, hey, you know what? You know, right below the one I was just speaking about, you'll see that there is a slot for the live TV stream or the video to be playing. Because that's the thing about with this being a, a TV, and it doesn't matter even if it wasn't uh, just a TV, even with our monitors, as long as you have a top box that's given a TV signal from a satellite or a cable box, you can always run and stream live TV. Uh, but speaking directly to our SuperSign TV, uh, yeah, this is a, a great advantage that you actually you have using all of the different templates. And the great thing is, too, you see uh, the very first one at the top here. Uh, this is actually, it says open because that gives, we give you the ability of actually creating your own if you would like. So you're able to do that, which is a, a great advantage. But some of the things that um, a few years ago we didn't have that ability, but uh, since then we give you the ability of creating your own actual template. All right, moving forward here. Now this is diving a little bit deeper into actually creating that content. So this is a template, you know, that's a general template. Now, in this particular one, it said, hey, you know, we're going to have a little message going on on the side, and then there's still a spot for the live streaming TV. And it is that simple as you take a look further at the additional options that you have on the side here. Okay, from you know, adding different text to different areas or switching an image, images. And it, it is as simple as taking a video or an image directly from your hard drive and just popping it right in there. Again, uh, similar to the experience of creating an actual presentation. All right. Now, this is actually diving into creating that playlist. So in this particular example, you see two different templates there. So with template one, you see all of the different options at the bottom here. I'm going to go ahead and get a nice little handy pen. So you see right there, so those are the different times that you can have it set. So you can set it up by hours, by minutes, by seconds. You have all of that right there for you. And then you can even have it to just then go directly to maybe you just want to play live streaming TV without a template. All of that is at your disposal with our super fine, simple editor. Now for the distribution. We spoke about this already a little bit. You have the standalone solution with being able to export it and save it to the USB flash drive, or you're able to send it via the network. So uploading it to the server and then going ahead and sending it via the network. Again, as a reminder, you're able to do that up to 50 different TVs. Now, actually, um, I have a question for you all. I'm going to go ahead and take a pause here. Now, with our SuperSign software, it's been around for some time now, um, and it comes with a price. And if someone can please let me know, what's the cost of our SuperSign software, as you've been familiar with in the past? If you can go ahead at this time, use your chat box, or you can go ahead and raise your virtual hand, and I will let you go ahead and speak. Any ideas? So this is uh, this is that part of engagement that I was looking for earlier. So if you guys will go ahead and uh, 
give me something that would be great. Anything at all, anything. You know what? It's free, everybody. It is free. So uh, maybe you guys are all new customers, right? So, hey, yeah, our super sign software in the past, it was, uh, it was free, and even right now, it is still free. So great things that we're continuing to have, our super sign software, up to 50, the ability to connect to 50 TVs or monitors, it is free. All right. So speaking of things in the past, let's take a look at some of them. So here you have Easy Sign Editor. Now that is from our Easy Sign TV. Now that's this is legacy product that we're talking about. Now before this Easy Sign, it was only available on our Easy Sign TV. So it gave you the same some of the same abilities that I just spoke about today. However, it was only available on our Easy Sign TV. So then we said, hey, let's go ahead and take this further. And we came up with our super sign light software. And that's what you've been already familiar with, those of you that are our current customers. We have our super sign TV with our super sign light software. And it's also available for our monitors as well. This is the free software that also gave you the ability to connect up to 50 different TVs and monitors wirelessly and via landline. Ethernet cord. Uh, it gave you a different viewing experience there, as you see. You had a schedule format. Um, and you also, you know, got real details. You did need the IP address, and you need the additional server login. Um, and then you're able to, you know, go ahead and schedule the different templates. Well, now we have taken a lot of things away, and one of the things is, as we mentioned earlier, you no longer have that additional server login. So it's very easy, more streamlined. You're able to just go right in and select your template and then go ahead and start creating it. You know, start from scratch if you like or start from one of the 43 different options that you do have available. And then you just go ahead and start scheduling them. Now look at this here. Totally remove this option. So this is where some of the things got kind of cluttered. No longer do you have to have that additional server login. It's just right in there, plug and play solution. Now, here's the distribution. All right, so you save it to the USB flash drive or you distribute it over the network, all of that available to you, and it just looks a little bit different with the other options there. So, there you have it. That is where we've been with our great SuperSign software, the evolution of SuperSign, if you will. And what I will still want you to do. Uh, it's also, this is just giving you another look at um, what we've already talked about, but I, want, I invite you to visit our YouTube page. So if you go on YouTube, you go to LG Commercial Display USA, you will find actual great YouTube videos of our products. And some of the two videos that I want to bring to your attention is the right here, you'll see it here, and that is our Super Sign Introduction YouTube video. And this will just give you same thing that I've been talking about today, but it's just looking, it looks really fancy. Got things going around, some animation, and it just shows you some of the, the, the plethora of different options that we have available that even goes a little bit beyond the super sign free software that I'm speaking to you about today. And then we have the super sign highlights. So really showing you some of the great uses and really putting this to action in some of the application uses out there. So definitely look at those uh, YouTube videos, and, of course, that is free for you as well. Now, if you haven't, well, you know what, before I turn it over to Doug, let me just check right back in and see if anyone has any questions for me before we move on. Any questions at all? No, it's still doing okay? Uh, you know what? And so we did have one participant we had Jay Brewer. He did chime in earlier, about five minutes ago. He did answer that it was free. So I'm going to go give you the benefit of the doubt, Jay, before I shared that it was free, that you actually stated that before I put it out there. Well, Jay, I appreciate your participation, and uh, possibly we'll send you a, a nice bag or something. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you so much for chiming in, Jay. And now, without further ado, 
Let's go ahead and turn it over to Doug Jacobs. Everyone, ladies and gentlemen, Doug Jacobs. Doug, are you still Hi, here everybody. with us? I am still here. Can you hear me? Uh, we can hear you great. Great. How's everyone doing? Like I say, as you can tell from my my picture uh, that uh, was provided, I am a die diehard Bears fan, and also a diehard Cubs fan. So I'm actually going to be rooting on my Cubbies this afternoon. Hopefully they will prevail to go to the World Series. That's my goal. But um, want to kind of just go over this um, uh, 4K monitor that we have had brought out this year. We actually have two different versions of uh, the 4K monitor. The one we're, we're talking about today is our Z version, but we also have a C version as well. The main difference between the two, uh, the Z version has our Thunderbolt input. The, the C uh, does not. Uh, the C version was brought out in April, and the Z version was just brought out in uh, June. So we're very excited about the two uh, different models that we have. As we um, you can see that the the 4K mo monitor is really for the content for the native resolution, which is it's a true 4K, which is different than some of the other uh, monitors out there. This one is a 4096 by 2160, um, which is a true 4K monitor. And a lot of other monitors have the U UHD, which is very close, but it is not um, it is not a true 4K as this one uh, is. is and as, as we start out, we start with HD. And then once we move to full HD, which is uh, 1920 by 1080, and then the DUHD, which again is the 3840 by 2160. Um, again, with our monitor, we've, we have the true 4K monitor, which um, really brings out um, what we're looking for. This particular monitor, just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like, it has different options where you can do a, a portrait mode. Um, all of our inputs, as you can tell, are on the underside. So they're actually hidden, a little easier for the cabling to go under there when you're um, inputting it. It also can be wall mounted too, so there's a 100 by 100 uh, visa pattern. So if that does need to be uh, wall mounted, it can. And the uh, inputs that it has, like I said, we have two, two HDMI's, a mini dis display port, a display port, two Thunderbolts, which are interchangeable. So if you, if you do need to um, daisy chain the monitors, you go from one Thunderbolt to the other, it does not matter which one you go into. Um, then we have the USB, which is going to go through, like, say, a printer or something along those lines. And then also the USB, which if you have peripherals, which we'll go into a little bit later for um, um, mouse, mice, keyboards, and such. And, again, this is just, again, going over everything that we um, um, just kind of just talked about. But it kind of just shows you exactly, you know, we have uh, many different options with this monitor. We can actually put in um, many options especially working with Max, and that's where the Thunderbolt really, really comes into play. The, the, the folks that we're going to show you that are actually using this monitor, um, really working more with a Mac side because we're a graphic or, graphics oriented. Uh, the monitor really is this is mainly set up for the high-end user. Uh, for a standard monitor, um, this for 4K content, I would probably say this one probably doesn't work in that realm, but it does work within for videos, uh, photography. Um, imaging and such like that. Uh, that's really what it is perfect for. And like I said, we go into the next slide if we can. Thank you. The, um, these are the three different areas that we're really focusing on this particular monitor. One, the videographers, mainly uh, our editors, film editors, our graphic designers, and our photography. This is where they really truly need that high end quality picture, which is going to bring out the true blacks, the true reds, and there's not going to be any kind of deviation of any of the colors. This is where it's, and it's crucial for them because, I mean, there's the money that's involved in what they're doing is, is um, dependent on the actual monitor itself to make sure that what they produce is going to be what their clients and customers are looking for. So I think uh, in that, re that realm, the, this monitor fits well within uh, any of those segments, and I think moving forward, the, they'll find this, this will work well. And for photography, like I said, this kind of gives a great overview of how the monitor is, is utilized. Uh, with being for a display uh, portrait mode, you can truly get a, a sense of what you're looking to accomplish for editing purposes on, on the piece. In the left, the full HD, it does cut off the, does cut off the actual image where uh, we may need to highlight the, the top of the of the Eiffel Tower, or you may have to just uh, do some subtle changes. Where in the portrait mode, you actually have that option where you can actually uh, view and edit what is needed. So it works out great for that uh, that area. And I said that the, again with the effects of the 4K, 
um, from an editing perspective, when you do actually split the um, the image, you get a the true split of the image in half. You're going to get a 2048 by 2160. So you're not losing really anything in that re that regards for editing purposes. You're still going to get the same color saturation. You're still going to get the same um, blacks and, and reds that are going to you know, pop. You're going you're to get that that area that's going to help. Uh, the customer out. Like I say, these high-end monitors are, are perfect for for that area. And that's we have to kind of when we talk with customers and such, and to, to see what their application um, is, and what they're going to be using it for. Um, many many people are working uh, for graphics, and they have um, the Max Max solutions. So they're looking for that high-end monitor that they know is going to represent the, the true colors, uh, and true uh, work that they've produced. It's going to when they Go to do uh, for uh, larger segments. So um, I think that the, in this area, this, that works out just uh, wonderful for that area. And with this also, like I said, with this, the IPS panel, like I said, we've um, Stephen uh, went on to say and was talking about the IPS panel on the larger screens. The smaller screens are um, coming coming more and more with IPS panels. This this particular monitor definitely has an IPS panel. Our standard monitors. As Stephen alluded to, are really are coming up and having more and more IPS panels because one, it um, takes the color that is represented and it transfers it right off into the screen. There's no deviation. There's no um, missing of any of the, um, the the reds, the blues, the true blacks, and it also makes out the. And also, oh, excuse me. It also makes the color saturation that much better. So when they are doing um, any kind of editing and such, they're going to get that true. True um, color. The great thing also too about the um, IPS panel is that you can actually view it from 178 degrees uh, away. So when you, when you have multiple people looking at the monitor, they all will see the same image. They will all see the same color content. They will all see what you're trying to represent instead of having a standard monitor which only has me 170 to 160, which then it uh, fades out. So this actually the IPS panel is a great great um, panel for for these type of monitors. And again, with um, with this monitor being the the, the high-end monitor that it is, it the color saturation and the representation of um, the monitors are great. These are actually you can um, color manage these with a, with a calibration tool to make this fit the area that you're um, you're trying to produce. And with this, I think the monitor itself does not um, deviate from any kind of print. When you actually do uh, print off your um, segment, it, uh, it is the true colors. It is the true um, representation of the work that has been put through. And, I, and like I said, again, the higher end monitor is working with uh, the graphic artists. They're going working with the, the um, video editors and the photographers who are, are truly uh, need that um, high end graphics and who, do, who need the, the true representation of the colors that is that is available. And like I said, with with this, like the, the photography, it again it brings out um, the colors and such. Again, there we're I'm emphasizing more and more as you can tell the um, the color saturation and the true 4K is for the true 4K is to make sure that it, it brings out um, the, the true details of of the image. Such in this case here, we have a conventional monitor. You're still getting pixelations. Um, they can be seen, but in a true 4K, you will not. It looks like a true um, put, um, page in a um, print page, if you will. So it's that is really what it comes out to be. The, the, the a lot, many many um, areas are going toward this 4K. I think content is going is going toward the 4K. Um, people are looking more for uh, better and higher resolutions as we go through. And our LG 4K monitors is there to make sure that when um, people are ready for it, they will. And with with the IPS panel, it, it puts in this, uh, we, we call it flicker safe. Um, in a sense, it, it, it takes for long days because the, the people that are working in this environment are working on these monitors um, for hours. There's sometimes there's hours without breaks. Um, the the flicker safe uh, IPS panel, it takes and relieves, relieves the eyes so there's not um, fatigue. Um, it doesn't uh, take the image and it doesn't um, in a sense, make the, the, the image flutter. So it, again, it takes uh, fatigue off the eyes, so you can actually work longer, um, and it, it keeps the colors as they are true, as well. You know, so I think moving forward, 
um, and the moving forward is going to work well. I think um, the the true 4K monitor that we have is going to be something that um, uh, many um, professionals will use within their organizations. And I hope that um, when you have customers, you can kind of come to us, and we will definitely work with you to um, make sure that those customers get the information they're looking for. Excellent. Thank you so much, Doug. I appreciate you taking us through the 31-inch um, and all the great abilities that it has, especially in uh, the true 4K. Um, before we go ahead and take any questions, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Um, but we want to make sure that you all know that you can find more information on the 31-inch or on the Super Science Info Editor. Um, you can find that on lgsolutions.com. You can also uh, connect with us and follow us on LinkedIn, LG Commercial Display USA, as well as Facebook, Twitter, and as already mentioned, um, on our YouTube page. And that YouTube page, uh, it is LG Commercial Display USA. So please do uh, um, follow us to get more information and uh, some of the exciting things that we're doing. So, for an example, you know, we've been doing these road shows um, all year. And our, our next one that we have coming up, that's going to be in New York. And so, you know, in, at, at these growth shows, we're actually, you know, not only are we talking about it, as we have on this webinar, but we're actually showing it all off. And that's going to be in New York City on the 22nd of this month. So a lot of great things going on that we have. And uh, if you did like this webinar, hopefully you did, um, the Recording will be available to you. Um, you did by registering for this webinar. We did capture your email. So we will be sharing the recording out to you so you can pass it along to any of your colleagues. But please do also tune in to us for um, our future webinars. So we have one in November and also in December, which we'll be talking about some of our other products. So please do tune in for those. And if you miss any of our webinars, as we talked about the recording will be available for this one, but even last month we had it on our new video wall, our 55-inch Clover model, which has a bezel of 1.8 from panel to panel. Um, that is also available, so you can find that on lcsolutions.com on our landing page, and you can register for all of these great webinars. And with that, folks, um, I will go ahead and pause for a few we did go a little bit over. I do apologize about that. But um, if you do have any questions for myself or Doug, please go ahead and, uh, and ask them right now. Uh, you can do that via chat, or you can do it um, by raising your virtual hand. So please, at this time, go ahead and let us know what your thoughts are. And for any reason, if you um, you don't have a question right now, but you want to ask a question later, that is why we have our email addresses right there for you. So please feel free to reach out to us. You can see mine is at stephen.blount at lge.com, and Doug's is at douglas.jacob at lge.com. Thank you so much for uh, for joining us on this great, wonderful morning. Hopefully you will.